Hello. So I'm sick at home right now. So I decided to paint because I haven't painted in a while. And I got commissioned by my friend Mimi to paint this um, denim jacket for her and her boyfriend for the anniversary. So we'll be doing that today. Keep watching. Okay, so for today we'll be painting on denim fabric. Is there any difference between this and canvas? Yes, sort of. But all you need is your acrylic paint and your brushes plus your color palette. Uh, so when you paint with denim, people do like using fabric medium. This is heat set fabric medium. Um, what you do is you mix this in a one-to-one -one ratio with your paint and it makes the paintings more flexible on the surface. However, I don't really use this. As you can see, it's still full since I bought it because I don't really mind it being a little bit hard. And I usually paint it on the back of the clothes so people don't mind it being a little bit stiff. But if you do want to use fabric medium, you can. You don't have to, it's expensive. You really don't have to. Acrylic paint is all you need. Just some simple, I just used to do it in acrylic paint. Same thing. All good. And then you can start painting. Okay, so before you start any painting, probably the number one most helpful tip I can give you is to plan your painting. You gotta come up with a concept and what you wanna paint, and then you can improvise from there. Because usually what happens is if you just paint straight from the get-go, you kind of waste a lot of time improvising and rethinking things, and then you repaint, and then you waste a lot of paint. Not that it's bad, it adds to the creative process. However, usually if you're doing it for someone else, like your project, they've got a time limit. You gotta respect that. So pre-planning saves time. That's what I'm doing right now. I like to draft up concepts and collage together. Uh, sketches in Photoshop. It's really easy to do. I'll draw in real life and put it up in Photoshop and then edit from there so I can judge color, composition, size, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, pre-plan. Don't try to be a hero, just pre-plan. If you're beginning painting, makes your life easier, pre-plan. Okay, so for this project, uh, Mimi, my client, I'll call her my client, she wanted a kind of golden sunset vibe painting with flowers and butterflies and her and her boyfriend. So in this composition that I made, um, I worked with this really cool sunset beach scene. I'm going to superimpose flowers on top and then some uh, flying moths in the painting to create leading lines into the center of the image. See, this is a leading line and all of the moths face towards the middle. So um, usually when it comes to color in paintings, a lot of people struggle with this. Um, I recommend sticking to a limited color palette. So for this painting, I've got three main colors, which is green, yellow, and this pinky orange color. Um, what having a limited color palette does is that it forces you to think out of the box. It makes you um, try to think of your colors and your paintings objectively and see what you really need, what you don't need. It also makes uh, mixing colors a lot better because you have less colors to mix. And yeah, so I'd say if you're coming up with a new painting, just try to choose like three colors and then just improvise from that point on and you'll be fine. Yeah, so this is the painting that we'll be doing for Mimi today. I'll probably be improvising on top of this anyway, but this is a good rough vision of what we're trying to aim for for today on the jacket. Oh, so I really love this weather today. It's so nice. Look at that. It's like summery but cold I think in New Zealand <laughs> okay but yeah I'm gonna start painting now please Jesus help me today <laughs>
a so this is like 80 percent done i've got to do her silhouette but basically colors are laid down now to finish it and then to heat set very important Whew. okay so i started about at like two now it's seven that is my brother now it's 7 30 so i've painted for about five hours it's not bad it's pretty fast that looks like that yo that is so sick added the little border so there's a frame and then the um the flower and the flower as you can see we added gold spray paint it's really reflective which i think is cool because i like playing with surface quality and that shiny thing is just i have a lot of shiny stuff There we go, beautiful silhouette, done. Whew. Okay. So, done. <laughs> okay. Final check, it is 8.13, eight hours, not bad. Really happy with this one. I hope she likes it. I'm gonna send her a photo and let's see what she says. Okay, so this painting is basically done. It is finished. And now is the most important part of the process, which is setting your painting. So this allows the painting to stay on as long as possible on the garment. But before you heat set with an iron, which is how you do it, you have to let your acrylic paint dry for 24 hours because that's how long it takes for the paint to cure. I've already done that. And now you're going to heat set. So grab a shirt that you don't really care about and lay it over your painting. And then grab your iron on the hottest setting. I put it to the hottest setting over here. And then you're going to um, press on the fabric on the hottest setting and you're going to go over it so that it heats up the surface below you're going to do this for as long as you can so this is the first stage of heat setting and then the reason why I do this is so that um, if there's anything that's not dry, it sticks to the fabric and not to this. Okay, that seems good. Okay, so now you're gonna press this directly onto the painting. You're just gonna do it in steps, so area by area. It kind of melts the um, the painting into the surface. As you can see, none of it's cotton on yet so far. 
Then you're just gonna press it on, let it heat set. It might not do so. I use spray paint. It's kind of sticking to the iron, but it's all right. It's not the end of the world. And just heat set your painting. So you do this for a few rounds until you feel like it's um, kind of softened. And then after heat setting of the iron, you're going to leave it to set again for another 48 hours before you can wash it. Um, ideally, I wouldn't wash it like until after a week, but you can wash it. Just make sure you let it set for another 48 hours after heat setting it. And then you should be fine. And yeah, there you go. That is your painted jacket done. I really hope Nini likes it. <laughs> this is her and her boyfriend silhouetted against this really cool um, nature scene. Yeah. Okay. So if you like to see more paintings, because I'm going to be do doing quite a lot of them over this holiday, subscribe. <laughs> Please, thank you, and yeah, enjoy, and uh, good luck painting. Oh, um, I got this question in my last video on how to paint on fabric. Someone asked if they could use spray paint on, to paint on their clothes. Yes, you can. Uh, generally, in terms of mediums you can use on clothes, uh, as long as it's not water-based, you can use it on your clothes to paint, because if you think about it, you are putting these clothes in the laundry. If you use anything water-based like watercolor, which seems pretty obvious, but some people do do it. If you use watercolor paint on clothes, it will come off in the laundry and all your clothes will be stained that color. So anything pigmented medium that is not water-based will be fine. So like acrylic paint, oil paint, markers, spray paint, and whatever else you can think of that is not water-based will be fine on your clothes and it will stay on the clothes so yeah but if you got any more questions just ask me down below in the comment section and i'll answer it